Hi, this is Lisa with VeryCoolNails.com. Why don't you come with me so I can show you how easy it is to apply Jamberry's new nail wrap. Okay, so here we are. Here is half a set of the nail wraps. Here's the other half, which as you can see, I've already been playing around with. They're on a clear backing, so you can match them up as to which is going to fit best on which finger. This is the one I'm going to use for these two fingers, and as you can see, it's dual-ended. So, first thing you're going to do before putting the uh, nail wrap on is to clean your nail bed with alcohol. You don't need anything more sophisticated than that. What we're wanting to do is wipe any excess oils off of your skin. Give it a nice clean surface for the adhesive to adhere to. And you're going to push back your cuticle because skin and adhesives do not mix. Okay, you can take nail felt. This is completely optional, but there tends to be stubborn skin around the cuticle line, and I just buff a little tiny bit right along the edge. Like I said, that's entirely optional. Okay, here is my wrap. I'm matching it up to my nail. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than my actual nail length, and you'll see why in just a moment. Okay, so here's the wrap. And I like to use tweezers just because the oils on the ends of your fingers, you're having the wrap exposed to as little oil as possible is good. I'm going to put that, try to get centered in my nail there. push it down a little bit and then we're going to apply heat. So this is going to be our heat source. This is a little bag of rice. They're very easy to make. You can make them yourself. I made this one. It can be as easy as a child's cotton sock. Make sure the material that you use for these is cotton because you don't want the firemen coming to your house. Or do you? So we're going to throw this in the microwave. My microwave takes about 25 seconds. Feels about right. So we've got the rice bag out of the microwave. And I'm just pushing using pressure and then the heat here mm. to attach the shield. Now this is one of many methods. This one just happens to be that works the best for me. I'm pretty lazy, so I don't, I don't like having to do more work than I have to, especially when it works perfectly fine this way. Now if you look at the nail, see how it's kind of shrunk? In a way, it almost looks like shrink wrap on the end of my nail. So I'm going to take a look, make sure I don't have any bubbles, creases, anything like that. If you do, you can either use a rice bag or you can use a cuticle stick to straighten it out. And then we're going to let this cool off for a moment. Okay, now I've let this cool down. The reason you let it cool down is you want the adhesive to have time to set up. I am just clipping this off a little bit with nail clippers. You can um, use them if you'd like and trim with scissors, or you can use a nail file or emery board. These new uh, wraps are so thin, an emery board does the trick. And you want to file down perpendicular to the nail. You don't want to go at an angle, you don't want to damage the wrap you just put on. And what we're doing is trying to get any excess wrap off of the edge of the nail because it might catch and cause it to lift. Sometimes it takes a little fine tuning. You can use a stronger um, grit file if you'd like, but these were fine for me. So, And we're going to reheat our rice bag one more time, give it a final seal, and then we'll be ready to Okay, we've reheated our rice bag. We're going to apply pressure and heat again. We're wanting to get a final seal on this wrap. And there you go. Now this should last about 14 days. And when you apply them to toes, they usually last about four to six weeks. 
So this is what I'm going to have left over after doing one manicure. So get two to three applications for one set. That's not bad for less than $20. Thanks for watching. This is Lisa Swain, Jamberry Nails Consultant. If you would like more information or would like to try a sample, please drop me a line at VeryCoolNails.com.